Hello friends and fellow lovers of all things beachy. Welcome to The Beach Speaks. I'm your host and beach lover Paige Friend, sharing conversations and stories to help you reconnect with the beach, return to your soul, and reimagine your life. Whether they're an entrepreneur, a conscious creator, or just someone who loves the beach, all my guests have a story to tell about what makes the beach the place to be. So grab a cool drink, sit back in your beach chair, stick your toes in the sand, and enjoy this episode of The Beach Speaks. Remember the commercial for Calgon bath powder? The traffic. I can't read The that. boss. Read that. The baby. The dog. That does it. Calgon, take me away. Lose your cares in the luxury of a Calgon bath. Calgon softens the water to leave skin feeling silky smooth as it lifts your spirits. The soft, luxurious, fragrant world of Calgon. I love it. Pamper yourself with a Calgon bath. Lose yourself in luxury. She sneaks away into the bathroom to soak in a bubble bath, and Calgon, when added to the water, becomes this magical elixir that transports her to an oasis. Her eyes are closed, she's immersed in the bubbles, all her cares just washing away. I was a kid when that came out, so I thought it was just a funny commercial, but over the years, when I became that frazzled, exhausted woman, Calgon, take me away, had a brand new meaning. The idea of a bubble bath that could magically transport me to a beach oasis was no longer funny. It was a necessity. Since I was a little girl, I've always loved taking a bath. I don't know, I guess it was my way of escaping to that island oasis, relaxing, peaceful, Pretending I was at the beach, lying in the sand with the ocean waves washing over me, connected. I could stay in a bath like that until my hands and feet were wrinkled like prunes, as my mother would say. Now that I'm a grown-up, I still love a good bath. Even when we travel, I make sure to request that our room has a bathtub. I'll give up the penthouse room with a stunning view if it doesn't have a bathtub. Well, maybe. Depends on the view. (laughs) But anyway, you get the drift. A few years ago, when I was deep into learning about mindfulness, meditation, and energy healing, I discovered a new kind of bath. Sound baths. Now, before I dive deep into sound baths, I guess I need to go back a little and explain how I discovered this magical elixir that's like Calgon for the soul. (laughs) My soul sister Dawn, who was into all things mystical and metaphysical and also a beach fanatic like me, she told me about the sound bath they were having at a local shop that sold things like incense and crystals and Tibetan singing bowls. Neither one of us had been to a sound bath before. We both thought it sounded super groovy, so we went. And wow, it was more than super groovy. It was super relaxing and dare I say, super soul cleansing. The tiny candlelit room was packed with about 25 people lying on their backs with their heads facing the front, where a guy sat cross-legged on the floor in the middle of about seven or eight white cylinder-like bowls, different sizes, and about a foot tall. We were told to close our eyes, and another guy walked around the room leading us in a meditation, spraying a mist of essential oils over our heads. And he explained how the bowls, when played, have a particular energetic resonance, kind of like musical notes, that match different energy centers, the chakras, in your body. I was pretty new to this sort of thing, but let me tell you, when the bowls started playing, I could feel the waves of sound washing over and through my body like ocean waves on the beach. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. 
this was way more than a Calgon take me away kind of experience. I went to another dimension and I was hooked. I couldn't wait to learn how to play these magical bowls. And I found out my mindfulness coach, Ramona, was also a sound healer and taught workshops on how to play crystal bowls. So I took one of her certification workshops, and then I attended as many sound baths as I could to get a sense of how it was done. Then my soulmate, Ernie, got hooked, and we ended up buying a set of 10 bowls, (laughs) one to match each primary energy frequency and a few in between. I was ready to do this thing, but where and how? The beach seemed the logical place. I mean, what could be better than a sound bath on the beach by the ocean, right? But I wasn't quite ready to lead a sound bath on the beach just yet. I wanted to experience one first. Now I understand not everyone comes to a sound bath for the same reason. Some want to be transported to another dimension. Some just want to feel the healing energy. And some just want to relax and take a nap. It's all good. You do you. I want the Calgon take me away transformational experience. Thank you. One night, our friend Josh came over for dinner and he noticed three crystal bowls we had on a shelf above the TV. He thought they were a pretty cool decoration, but really they were just there because we didn't know where else to put them. And knowing that Josh is a very knowledgeable musician, I explained what they were for, and then we got deep into the subject of healing sound and sound baths. And I told him, you know, Ernie and I were thinking about signing up to go to a full moon sound bath on the beach. You want to go? He said, yeah, I'm there. I think it was a Friday night. We arrived at the beach around 7 p.m., um, about 90 minutes before the full moon was expected to rise. And we were met by a woman sitting cross-legged on a blanket, facing the ocean with four crystal bowls set up in a semicircle in front of her. I spread my beach blanket on the sand and laid down on my back with my head toward the bowls, listening to the beach speaking through the sound of the waves and feeling the full moon energy, pulling the tide closer to the shore, waiting for the magic. My mind was already in that zoned out meditative space. And as soon as the bowl started making that energetic womp, womp, womp sound, I could feel the vibration buzzing in the top of my head. And it was starting to move through my neck and shoulders and into my chest. My heart was pounding, but the sensation wasn't coming from me. It was coming from the ocean. I could hear the ocean's heartbeat. Now that's magic. Afterward, feeling all one with the universe, I suggested we stand in the ocean to watch the moon rise. So as we were standing ankle deep in the ocean, watching the moon as it began to glow above the water, Josh said, you know, I have some friends that would have really loved this. Do you think you could lead a sound bath for us sometime? I said, yeah, I'd be happy to do that. Thinking to myself, Am I really ready to lead a sound bath for a bunch of people I don't know? His idea was to do it on the beach at sunrise, and then we could all go to his place for brunch. We decided to meet on a Saturday morning at the same spot on the beach, about an hour before sunrise. Then I had to figure out what bowls I wanted to bring. It was kind of like trying to decide what song I was going to play, since... Each one has a different resonance, like musical notes. I wanted the sound to be pleasant and also create a vibration to match what would be going on energetically with the sun and the moon and the ocean. I meditated on it for a while and the message came to me, find your balance, which was perfect because at the time of that morning, the sun and the moon would be opposite each other in the sky, the perfect balance of yin and yang. So I decided to make it simple and picked out three bowls, each one matching the vibration of a particular energy center that I wanted to tap into, the root, the heart, and the third eye. And the keys all kind of go well with each other, balanced. 
That morning, it was still a bit dark when I got to the beach, and I found a relatively flat area of sand near the dunes, spread out a large round beach blanket with fringe and a pattern that looked like a mandala. I sat down facing the ocean and lined up the bulls in sort of a semicircle in front of me. I also brought two sets of shanti bells, one that played notes resonating with the energy of the moon, and another set that represented the sun, the yin, and the yang. I practiced a little to make sure the sound was okay and not muffled by the blanket or the sand, and then I waited. I didn't think many people would show up, but soon Josh arrived, and I thought, okay, if it's just the three of us, I'm okay with that. Then a few of his neighbors showed up, then a few more of his friends, and one of them brought her 11-year-old twins, then a couple of his co-workers, and altogether I think there were about 12 or so, spread out on their blankets in a semicircle around me, lying on their backs with their heads in the direction of the bowls and their feet toward the ocean. One of the twins was a little restless, and I don't blame her. I don't know many 11-year-olds like the idea of lying still for five minutes, let alone an hour. In fact, we'd asked our 10-year-old granddaughter if she wanted to go, and when I told her what we would be doing, she said, that sounds really boring. Once everything was settled, I told the group that my intention for this practice was find your balance, and how the frequency of the sounds from the bowls have an energetic effect on the different parts of the body, which in turn helps to create that a sense of balance. And then we started. I invite you to close your eyes and listen to the sound of the ocean. Think about what needs more balance in your life. Let finding balance be your intention this morning. We'll begin by taking a few deep breaths, starting in your belly, up through your chest, to the top of your head, and exhale. Take one more breath in, and exhale. Tune in to the energy centers of your body. Let your breath fall into a natural rhythm. Be the observer. When a thought comes, there's no need to dwell on it. Just let it go. Let the sound do the work. And if you fall asleep, that's okay. The sound will still have an effect. The key is to relax and just be here now. And with the mallet in my right hand, I circled the rim of the third eye bowl, waiting for the sound to start whoosh, whoosh, whooshing. And then tapping the root bowl with the mallet in my left hand, the bowl started its sound and going back and forth from one bowl to the other, then playing two together, I went into somewhat of a trance. just listen to the ocean and the bowls becoming more and more in sync with the push-pull of the waves and the volume of the sound coming from the bowls rising and falling. It felt less and less like I was playing the bowls. It felt like they were playing me, that my body was channeling the energy beyond my physical being. Magic.
And looking around at everyone lying peacefully, I wondered, what are they feeling? I mean, for all I knew, they could have been fast asleep and not even aware. I wondered, how long have I been playing? Was it 30 minutes? An hour? Then I looked out at the ocean and I saw the bright yellow glow of the sunrise peeking out above the horizon. The perfect signal to start bringing this bath to an end. I began to slow down, letting the volume of the bowls get softer and softer until the only thing you could hear was the ocean. After a few seconds of silence, I stood up and walked around the circle, ringing the shanti bells. I sat back down and with my hands in a prayer position at my heart center. I spoke. When you're ready, with your eyes still closed, slowly begin to return to your body, making gentle movements, starting with your feet and your hands, moving your head side to side, stretching your arms above your head, and taking a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Roll on to your right side. Rest your head on your hands like a pillow. Remind yourself of your intention this morning. And when you're ready, open your eyes and slowly begin to rise to a seated position. Let's take another deep cleansing breath. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. And the pure light within you guide your way on. And with that, the sound bath was over. Mm-hmm. I thought about how it felt compared to the last one where I heard the ocean's heartbeat. And I wasn't entirely surprised to discover that giving a sound bath was not the same as taking one. The beach speaks differently when you're the one channeling the sound. It's more interactive and intuitive. I have to admit I was more concerned that everyone had a good experience than thinking about mine so much. Of course, everyone said it was wonderful and how relaxed they felt. And I thought, okay, well, that's the polite thing to say. But everyone did seem to be relaxed, and even the kids that I thought wouldn't be able to sit still actually did, for a while, until they got up and started playing around collecting shells and other treasures, which they were so excited to show me afterwards. I guess while we adults were listening to the beach through the bowls, the beach was speaking to the kids through the shells. (laughs) I started the process of wrapping up the bowls, mallets, and shanty bells, and placing them carefully into beach totes while Ernie shook the sand off my mandala blanket. And as we were loading everything into the car, I said, wow, all those times I said I wanted to lead a sound bath on the beach, and I finally did it. Everyone else had already gathered their things and gone over to Josh's house, which was only about a block away. So when we arrived, everyone was still in various states of chill mode, happy and relaxed, sipping champagne mimosas, enjoying the delicious aroma of shrimp and spices and whatever else Josh was concocting in the kitchen. And then when Josh presented me with a mouth-watering veggie eggs Benedict he had made especially for me, he said in kind of a whisper, The sound bath was amazing. Everyone's asking me, do you think Paige would want to do another one? You could turn it into a regular thing, like once a month or something, and maybe even open up to the public. What do you think? Yes, I would love to do it again.
I really hope you enjoyed this Calgon Take Me Away sound bath episode. It was a little tricky to edit, but a lot of fun to record. And if you're into it, I'd love to share more sound bath experiences with you. Just go to my website and click subscribe. And I will send you a message letting you know when I'm offering my next sound bath event. And I will also include a personal beach meditation that you can listen to anytime. The beach is speaking. Are you listening? <laughs>